Hello everyone, I went out at the weekend and I picked up the Pat McGrath foundation and the primer and I have some other Pat McGrath makeup so I thought I would do a full Pat McGrath um, makeup video for you today but also a bit of a review of the foundation. I tried it yesterday in a live and I wore it for the day with the primer and I really like it. So let's put some makeup on this face. First step is primer. This primer is called um, Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Primer. And it's a lightweight primer. I wore it yesterday. I tend to go for primers that have light reflecting um, qualities to them. So it's going to make my skin look hydrated and more radiant underneath because I have a dry skin. However, I really enjoyed wearing this primer. Um, it's very, very lightweight. It didn't feel like I had more layers on, if that made sense. Sometimes you put your primer on and your moisturiser and your SPF and you just feel like you've got so much on your face before you've even started. This is a really, really lightweight primer and it contains hyaluronic acid. So it's going to help the skin while you've got it on. It renews the skin and makes it hold the moisture a little bit more, which to me ticks every box that I want. I'm finding that a lot of brands are putting more kind of skincare things into their foundations and their primers because there's so much competition now that you, and people don't want to overcomplicate and put your hyaluronic acid on and put this on and put that on and then you've got so many layers on. So there's the primer on, it's very, very lightweight. It actually feels like I have nothing on my skin, which is an absolute win for me. I really almost don't want to like her products because they are so expensive but they are really, really fantastic. This one, this primer is 52 um, pounds and it says it lasts 12 months. Um, you know, that's a lot of money, but my makeup stayed on all day yesterday and it felt really light all day. Didn't feel like I had much on. Okay, let's move on to foundation. I've got this skin fetish. Now, I went for light medium number nine. When I was looking at the foundations, they come in 36 shades and, um, Number eight was slightly more yellow and number 10 was slightly more yellow. Number nine was more pink, so I'm assuming it skips a step. So it goes yellow, pink, yellow, pink, if that makes sense for the undertone. This might be a little bit um, different for me today because I put fake tan on last night, but actually it looks fine. Now the foundation is really lightweight, but has a nice coverage which surprised me. I'm using a Real Techniques setting brush to put this foundation on because I really want it to be light and not heavy. It needs a light amount of movement, this foundation. So this one says it has Lush Vita Serum in, which is a natural form of hyaluronic acid. And it's going to, again, the same as the primer, it's going to help fight the first signs of wrinkles and just redo the skin and keep it really fresh. Basically, it holds moisture in doesn't matter if you've got oily skin, you still want to hold the moisture in, if that makes sense. In fact, you don't want to let it out. But it is such a beautiful finish. Now the foundation is £60, so I was a bit like, oh my god, that is so expensive. But it's so nice. And you get 35 mils of foundation in this one. I have to say, I think this is one of the nicest foundations I've seen on my skin in quite some time. It is really, really beautiful. It wore so well last night. Um, I also like, especially like to use a small brush to move it around. I just did my brows off camera. I use a little bit of um, MAC Shape and Shade and Inner Mascara Brow Gel. Now you can get her eyeshadow palettes for a mere 115 pounds. Ouch! But they are very beautiful. They're quite hefty, so not quite so practical for a makeup artist to carry around. Um, but hey ho, they are lovely. This one is in the colour Subliminal. Subliminal. Bronze Seduction. It's nice, isn't it? Subversive, which is the more slightly purplier tones. And then Sublime. I think I'm going to go for Bronze Seduction because it's right up my street. Start off with this colour here on a base shadow brush. Let's have a little look at how it works. I really felt like doing a really nice makeup today. You know when you get in the mood and you're like, do you know what? I really want to do a lovely full-on makeup today. 
hints that I did my hair and put some tan on. Take that a little bit under my eye as well. I can't remember if I said, but these palettes will set you back £115. So that first colour was very lightweight, which I actually like. It's really muted kind of taupey colour. I'm then going to go in with a little touch of these browns. I think the matte ones have quite a high pigment, so I'm just taking a small amount, tapping my brush off. This is the defining crease brush by Real Techniques. I'll just take that in there and let the brush do the work for me. I'm actually going a little bit more uncomfortably far in here that I don't normally go, but I want to make this a slightly more um, 70s smoky eye. I just want to take an Instapop crease brush and I don't know whether to go for this one or this one. I think this one's calling out to me. So I'm going to just take a small amount of that. I'll just pop that in the middle of the eye just so I can see what it does. Sticking with the same brush, I'm going to go in with this brown here. I'm going to take that under my eye a bit because I want a bit more under the eye. So you can see it's still got a little bit of the coppery tone through it, which will on the brush, so it will drag that through, which I kind of like. Don't worry, it's all going to come together really nicely shortly. You have to go to a bit where you're like, I don't like it, to get to the good bit where you love it. And if you don't love it, it's only makeup. Take it off. And then you're just going to keep working with it and tweaking it until you get it as dark as you like. I'm going to go under the eye with a bit more of that warm red just to really bring that out. Now up here there's this kind of, there's this colour here which is kind of a blush pink orangey kind of metallic. I just want to push that over the middle of the eye with my finger. And then I'm going to run a tiny bit of the lightest colour just up to my brow bone. Oh, I don't know if this is going to go wrong with this because I don't really like these shimmers, but I'm going to use it really lightly and hopefully it will be nice. It's fine, used really lightly. It's nice. I think this video is going to be in two parts because <laughs> I'm enjoying doing makeup. I'm also going to take a tiny bit of the darkest purple just through this corner here. Next onto liner, I have got the Pat McGrath Extreme Black Perma Gel Ultra Glide On Liner in yeah, Extreme Black. I want to take that in the top waterline. I think I might take it in the bottom waterline as well. No, just the top. Now from this collection, she actually does the most beautiful um, liner pen. But I had it in my bag, the lid came off and it dried out. I was so gutted. Hey ho. I'm going to take a tiny bit of that there. And I will smudge that along in a second. I'm just going to take a shading brush and just smudge the edges. And then I'm ready for tons of mascara. Now I don't have the Pat McGrath mascara, so I'm going to use the Laura Mercier um, Caviar Volume 1. Concealer, well Pat McGrath doesn't have concealer yet, so I'm going to use a little bit of NARS. This is creamy concealer in custard. 
and this is the Real Techniques Expert Concealer Brush. I'm going to pop my normal bronzers on as well. This is Chanel Bronze Universal. This whole makeup would cost about a million pounds of the products I've used. Million dollar makeup. I'm then going to set it with a Pat McGrath powder. Now this is a really lightweight powder, loose powder, so it just clings, like just brushes against the makeup, doesn't change it at all, but gives you a soft powder finish. It says that it is lighter than air. So that's just going to hold that makeup into place. And it's, it doesn't change the makeup, which I really, really like, because I'm not one for powdering, because I like my skin to be really glowy. I'm, I probably wouldn't necessarily powder over this makeup anyway, but with this powder, it doesn't change it too much, which I like. Then I've got the Skin Fetish Highlighter and Balm. Um, one end is a highlighter. This will set you about £45. And the highlighter goes on the top of the cheekbones. Or wherever you want to put your highlighter. It doesn't have to be here. Really nice on the cupid's bow. And then on the other end you've got the balm, which I really like. That just gives this little extra bit of sheen. Just going to make sure that's really blended in so I don't look like I've got a cut off line, if that makes sense. And then on to lip. Now I did try the Pat McGrath Red Lip in Major Lip Liner, which is lovely. I just didn't like the red look, red lip with this look, so I took it off. Um, and I don't have another one, so I am going to use some old trusty faithfuls that I know are great, because I want this to have kind of a 90s-esque lip. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude. They're quite a similar formula, actually, the lip liners. Um, Charlotte's might be a little bit flatter, a little bit matte at the liners. But I like that they kind of do a blur out kind of thing. Just around the outside I'm going to pop a little bit of Max Stone. I've been using this lip, lip liner for about 20 years to do this. Never dates. Just makes the lips look a lot fuller. Then now I have the matte ones. This one's quite nice in the colour um, Omi. But I use this one daily. It's in the colour Blow Up. Actually, I'm going to... And I love it. You can see that I, I use it. It's in my makeup bag. I actually am going to go for the, um, for the matte one. I'm going to take just a small amount and smudge it. This is a Real Techniques lip smudge brush. I love it. Not sure if I'm meant to talk about this brush yet or not. Look at the nice packaging. This lipstick is in the colour Omi and they retail at £35. Over the top of that I'm going to put a little bit of lip gloss and I've got Dare to bear. I'm only popping it in the middle. And the lip gloss is £25. And then lastly, I'm just going to add some Demi Wispy Lashes. Because I think with this makeup, I can get away with some fuller lashes, don't you? I hope you've enjoyed that, guys. Thanks so much for watching.